Good evening to all. I am Vanessa John Charles and CBN4 News begins now. Let's take a look at the headlines for today. The Prime Minister of Dominica addresses investors in the country. And parents receive care packages. All this and more after the break. Please stay with us. Guard your heart with all diligence doesn't mean don't let anything in. It means let only the right stuff in and keep the wrong out. What's the right stuff? Well, how about words? Life-giving words. Because out of your heart are the issues of life. Get the Rhapsody of Realities and fill your heart with the right words. Call now to order for your copy. Available in print, audio, and electronic formats. Download the Rhapsody of Realities mobile app from the App Stores and the Google Play Store. Welcome back. Cultural Projects Officer Mr. Gregory Rabez believes that despite a few minor issues, the independence celebrations went very well this year. This year, uh, uh, the activities uh, coordinated by the Division of Culture were very, very successful. Of course, we had, um, you know, the usual challenges and, and glitches, um, technical issues from time to time, but that, is, that goes with the territory, really. But by and large, uh, the, the, the participation was very, very good. I must commend the young people for their participation in various cultures. He strongly believes that the youth have dominated the participations of the competitions held by the shows of the cultural division. Regarding the different categories of both children and adults, he stated that in some cases, the youth even participated in adult categories. He mentioned a change that should be implemented concerning the act of storytelling. The bracket, which means, therefore, that as a challenge, uh, we need to uh, pay some attention to the, to the art of storytelling so that we can get more young people uh, involved in the art of storytelling. Now, we're talking about least way, quant, um, you know, that, 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 that aspect of the... Of course, um, we have other issues, like for example, the players of accordion instruments also are, uh, tend to be much older, uh, but then that's another issue. Um, being that the accordions is the basis of the Jinping music, Mr. Rabes thinks that persons should have instruments to practice at their homes in order to get better at it. But he also is aware that the instruments themselves may be a bit costly. Overall, when it comes to the cultural dance, Bele, he mentioned that there was good participation from Grand Bay and Casa Bruce and pointed out that persons should also make an effort to expand the training of Bele in Dominica work in the schools, the training in the schools. So the Division of Culture and its arm, um, the DIFA, the Dominican Institute for the Arts, um, uh, has ongoing training, cultural training programs, artistic training programs throughout the year. And we do have all these programs as well in the schools. So that work uh, will continue to lay the basis and the foundation for next year. And incidentally, next year is the 50th anniversary of the Cultural Gala. So that Meanwhile, the Dominica Broadcasting Station, known as the Nation Station, has been criticized on numerous occasions, both by the public and politicians, for being one-sided, disseminated only information on the current government and not the opposition. In an interview, Cecil Joseph, the acting manager at DBS, said such criticisms against the company is false. It's totally bull. I would say that it's totally untrue. When Edison James, I think in 2002, made the statement, boots on the ground, it came from the Dominican Broadcasting Corporation. When Lennox Linton was inaugurated as the leader of the United Workers Party on the 1st of September 2013, DBS Radio had almost for an entire week inserts of his inaugural speech. The acting manager described DBS as accurate, true and precise. 
He stated that the company is not about gossip, hearsay or non-factual information and that DBS strives to provide clear and balanced news to the public. So it is rather unfortunate that some people with their clouded political thinking that you only hear um, the government side. And I'm happy that they're saying the government side and not the Dominican Labour Party side. Because um, the government is the administrators of development in Dominica. And by virtue of that, DBS Radio will ensure that they get information from the politicians who belong to the administrative side, that is, that is government. Mr. Joseph stated that the Dominica Broadcasting Station has a commitment to building, a commitment to serve, and a commitment to ensure that accurate information is given to the public. And anything heard from the Dominica Broadcasting Station is accurate, true, and precise. And in other news, Melissa Skerritt gave care packages to the parents of Tara Speet. The Prime Minister's wife began an initiative where donations will be given to the less fortunate. At a handing over ceremony held at the Tarishpit Resource Center yesterday, November the 6th, 2014, Mrs. Skerritt handed several care packages to the parents of the community. Mrs. Skerritt asserted that the care given to children by their parents will determine the future of a country. The Prime Minister's wife gave a heartfelt thank you to her cousin Iana Eiffel and the Chief Executive Officer of Carib Delights for being the main benefactor and for seeing the need to assist the less fortunate of Dominica, lending a helping hand to a home country. I feel says that she was moved by Mrs. Skerritt's commitment and effort to reach out to the local communities challenged by socio and economic factors. Mrs. Skerritt says that she will continue to make public presentations in order to draw awareness of the need of those who are able to assist those who are not. Coming up. The Prime Minister of Dominica addresses investors in the country. And Creole in the streets, was it successful or not? Find out after the break. We'll be right back. Guard your heart with all diligence doesn't mean don't let anything in. It means let only the right stuff in and keep the wrong out. What's the right stuff? Well, how about words? Life-giving words. Because out of your heart are the issues of life. Get the Rhapsody of Realities and fill your heart with the right words. Call now to order for your copy. Available in print, audio, and electronic formats. Download the Rhapsody of Realities mobile app from the App Stores and the Google Play Store. Welcome back. At DHDA's 45th annual general meeting held at the Fortian Hotel's conference room, the Prime Minister of Dominica, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, addressed some of the investors of the country in efforts to continue working as a team in the carrying out of investments to gain profits. On the topic of access to cheaper financing, the Prime Minister of Dominica spoke of a statement which he made at Parliament in the budget address, where 10 million EC dollars was pledged to the hotel industry, which was intended on targeting the rooms deemed by authorities as not being export ready, but was to be lent at a 5% interest.
Mrs. Skerritt believes that further support should be placed towards the already existing properties in the country. He mentioned that for the commencement of the meeting held at Venezuela, the aid bank has borrowed $10 million from Bandas, president of the bank at Venezuela, on a 3% interest towards the unlending to the private sector. Currently, arrangements are being made by the government of Dominica to have the chairman, board member and the general manager to travel to Venezuela on Monday to discuss the request with the president and staff of Bandas. The request has already gotten approval in principle by the president of Venezuela. Former Chief Cultural Officer and Chairman of the Independence Committee, Mr. Raymond Lawrence, is pleased with the passing of the independence season. Let's listen in as he gives his, his views based on the independence 2014. Well, it was a good experience and I have to thank God that um, we thought the independence season went very well. Of course, you have always have your usual difficulties and challenges, but overall, I think the independence committee was satisfied that the events went fairly well, the quality and the standard of the performances was good and that the public seemed to have received the activities very well. Mr. Lawrence expressed appreciation to the various cultural groups and sponsors, organizers and planners of this year's events, as well as the government of Dominica and others who came forward to help make the season a success. When asked if he believes that culture in Dominica is where it should be, he said that there is always room for improvement, but trainings held should also be continued. Long ago, a lot of the culture and the heritage was really being born by the elderly. The elderly. Um, and when I was chief cultural officer, through the years we made a, really made an effort. One of the aims of the division was to train young people so that um, you have a whole generation, so to speak, of young people coming up who know the dances, who can probably play the Jinping music, who can play steel pan, who can sing some of the folk songs and do court and so. And I must say that um, I think today we're seeing, we're bearing the fruits and you're seeing a lot of young people. Proud of the fact that most of the performances done during the independence season consisted of a number of young persons, Mr. Lawrence stated that he can say that culture is now at a healthy state here in Dominica. Claude Weeks, Assistant Superintendent and Public Relations Officer of the Dominica Police Force in the Commonwealth of Dominica, has announced that there were no major incidents during this year's independence season. We are pleased to report that um, the activities throughout uh, the independence uh, 2014, or in fact our 36th anniversary of independence uh, 2014, went very well. We have to um, tell the public, inform the public that the, there were no major incidents and that indeed is really tremendous. Weeks explained that besides two traffic collisions at Baffestet and the E.O. Libla Highway, one could say that the independent season was quiet. We, what we saw was the regular frequency with respect to traffic collisions uh, slash accidents. He continues to urge drivers and pedestrians to be careful on the roads, exercise the greatest prudence and drive with due care. Still to come. 
Creole in the streets, was it successful or not? And rumor has it that care packages is a gimmick. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Guard your heart with all diligence doesn't mean don't let anything in. It means let only the right stuff in and keep the wrong out. What's the right stuff? Well, how about words? Life-giving words. Because out of your heart are the issues of life. Get the Rhapsody of Realities and fill your heart with the right words. Call now to order for your copy. Available in print, audio, and electronic formats. Download the Rhapsody of Realities mobile app from the App Stores and the Google Play Store. It's here, the new Rhapsody Reader mobile app 2.0. Fresh, exciting, and yeah, I mean exciting. A whole new world of fun and inspiration all wrapped up in the beautifully redesigned interface with fascinating eye-catching features. Read, watch, and listen to Rhapsody of Realities all within the app. Introducing the new Rhapsody of Realities combo book. It's two books in one, the audiobook and ebook, all for the price of one. So now you can listen to the audio Rhapsody and read the devotional at the same time. Now, how cool is that? Rhapsody of Reality's combo book is exclusive for the Rhapsody app users only. The new Rhapsody Mobile Reader App 2.0 takes the Love World News Magazine experience to a whole new level with audio and video embedded within the magazine. How to be a success for Jesus Christ. You can watch the Rhapsody Dailies and Rhapsody Travels on demand 24-7. Share your testimony. Thanks for staying with us. The trade exposition in which showcased the many products and services produced locally by the small and micro business sectors on island or Creole in the streets was said to be successful by executive director of NDFD Cletus Joseph. With intentions to gain marketing and sales opportunities generated for incoming revenues to the small and micro businesses, we learned that all of their objectives geared were actually achieved. Mr. Cletus elaborated on participants of the event. The, the, the final count was about 75 of the small and micro businesses on island, um, ranging from agricultural producers um, in terms of crops, livestock, um, to the value adding aspects of it, smoked meat, um, eggs. Um, um, we had um, herbs and, and, and spices, um, essential oils. Um, soap, uh, soap products, uh, and other food areas, and, and that kind of a type of business. He mentioned that the retail sector was also represented as well on that day. Being that there has been mainly positive remarks from the public concerning the event itself, many have wondered if it will ever become an annual event. Uh, the, the activity was that successful and from the onset to the beginning of the day persons were having one dissatisfaction with that activity in that they indicated that just one day is insufficient and they were requesting that look let us just keep it for two days this time and when are we going to do it again and we have had requests to have it monthly we have had requests to have it semi-annually we have had requests to have it annually and I believe the NDFD will endeavor to keep this thing running, at least on, a, on an annual basis. Mr. Joseph said that they will consider the best options available to generate maximum results because they believe in delivering the real products and services that the small and micro business sectors intend to capitalize on. He mentioned also that though conducting the event once a year may cause some taxing, they could consider having the event an annual, on an annual basis. As they celebrate Early Childhood Month, students at the Spices Center are being highly engaged in a number of inspirational activities. Preparator Ms. Constance Norris explained the importance of the event. Early Childhood Month is a month designated in the year to give the public an awareness of the importance of early childhood education. 
early childhood education stems from the age zero to seven to eight and at that during that month we try to sensitize the public of the importance of getting the children to socialize in an environment that is conducive to learning Focused on the many daycares and preschools on the island, events at both national and school levels has been organized towards the unfolding of the month. Such events to be held includes a church service for the students at the start of the month, International Children's Day, a special events for parents, and also a national symposium, where professionals from the early childhood centers, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, comes together to observe this special month. She gave her expectations after the month of activities. Every activity we, we plan at an early childhood level has to be fun and educational for the children. So we are hoping that at the end of every activity they have gained some knowledge, they have enjoyed the activity and they will remember. Ms. Norris is confident about the activities to be held and expressed that most times students may have very little interest in early childhood month, but the moment they become informed a bit more on it and partake in the singing of their songs for the church services, their interests often begin to grow. At a handing over ceremony held at the Tarish Pete Resort Center yesterday, November the 6th, 2014, Mrs. Garrett handed parents of the community several care packages. Cecile Joseph, who spoke on behalf of the parliamentary representative, Julius Timothy, said that many people are of the view that the handing over of the care packages are for political reasons. He stated that the Prime Minister's wife saw the need ever so often to help the less fortunate around the island of Dominica, including that of Viecas, the home of her husband, Prime Minister Skerritt. Joseph urged the residents of Taris Pete to accept the gifts given with good hearts and stated that the general election is not a part of this event as the Prime Minister's wife gives her heart. Please stay with us. There is more when we return. It's here. The new Rhapsody Reader mobile app 2.0. Fresh. Exciting. And yeah, I mean exciting. A whole new world of fun and inspiration all wrapped up in the beautifully redesigned interface with fascinating eye-catching features. Read, watch, and listen to Rhapsody of Realities all within the app. Introducing the new Rhapsody of Realities combo book. It's two books in one, the audiobook and ebook, all for the price of one. So now you can listen to the audio rhapsody and read the devotional at the same time. Thanks for staying with us. The Discover Dominica Authority will welcome a group of 11 U.S. dive shop owners and operators to the island over the weekend. The group from the United States led by Aquatic Sales will be on island from November the 8th to the 30th, 2014, exploring the island's underwater and land-based activities. This is an opportunity for the U.S. dive shop owners to experience the attributes of the island with the intent of selling it to their clients. The group will also meet with local dive shop owners to have one-on-one -on -one discussions, giving them the opportunity to present their dive properties, packages and experiences in an effort to receive groups from the U.S. dive shops. Dominica is promoted as an excellent location for divers and non-divers. It offers the opportunity for couples as well as families who are both divers and non-divers on the island together. Discover Dominica Authority believes that opportunities like these are always encouraging to potential visitors to the island. We have come to the end of CBN4 News. Remember to tell us what you think of our stories and send us a WhatsApp at 767-614-7199. See you again next week.